two major cruise lines have announced plans to resume departures. It's Oceana and Region 7 Seas Cruises. They'll, they'll be back to carrying passengers by late summer. Also planning to reopen soon is Viking Cruises. Now, Viking was the first major cruise line to stop operations in March of last year. It's taking its first steps towards restarting routes operating in the UK, Iceland and Bermuda. Torsten Hagen is the chairman of Viking Cruises. He joins me now from Malta, where he is appropriately on board uh, a ship. Now, the reopening, the reopening has to be carefully done. We're aware of that. And we are aware that you have in place loads of policies and clean and safe and all the necessary protocols. But how are you going to build confidence with passengers? Well, I, I think we have done a lot uh, during this uh, difficult year. We have stayed in, stayed in touch with our guests all the time. And what we have done on a very scientific basis, we have analyzed the virus and how one can protect against it. And what we have done is we have installed on our ocean ships the first and only uh, PCR labo laboratories on sea. So we are so well equipped that we can, uh, we can detect any problem and deal with it immediately. And what we now have done, so we were the, as you said, we were the first cruise line to stop operating. And we are planning to be almost the first one to start operating again. And the date is... Uh, May 17th in England, when we will have the naming ceremony of our new vessel, the Viking Venus, uh, and uh, a former uh, uh, a television presenter in the UK, and Diamond will be the godmother. Right. But we are, yeah. we, we have, we, uh, we, so we operate now cruises in England or around England from Portsmouth to Liverpool, for example. We operate, we'll be operating in around Bermuda will be operating around Iceland. And these are countries, individual countries. So we don't have to get into the problems with the uh, cross-border border, uh, travel. Now, sir, um, sir the CDC, in the United States, the CDC has been slow, if you will, uh, at approving uh, cruising and, and various plans. One of your co competitors on this program um, uh, from Nor Norwegian was basically up in arms about the slowness of the, of the United States. He says that he'll move his ships where necessary, where cruising is possible. Will you do the same thing? Well, we at the outset, we are mainly based in Europe. So for us, the situation is a bit different from, from others. Uh, so, so we don't really have the same issue. And when you talk about the CDC, uh, we are much stricter than most other cruise lines. As a matter of fact, we are not members of the Cruise Lines International Association, where most cruise lines are. But we feel the standards that we set are much higher than those. And I think the CDC, may not always, we may not always like what they're doing, but I think they're right in setting the standards high, and I think we can deal with them. And uh, finally, the the way in which... I mean, cruising was a huge... It is a huge industry that was phenomenally popular. Do you believe it will take six months, a year, two, three years? When do you think it can regain that level of confidence and popularity? Well, one has to be careful to be overly optimistic, but the cruises that I mentioned for you now, England, Iceland, Bermuda, they're pretty much sold out. And when we now look at bookings for 2022 and compare that to what, were, what they were for 2019, which was a record year, our bookings on the ocean cruises are up 73% over where we were at the same time then. And we have many, we have 75 ships on the rivers, and those bookings are up over 110%. So we see a lot of pent up demand. Uh, of course, this year will be difficult, but 2022 should be a year where we're back to more or less normal. And again, we will be taking very good care of our guests, and for that matter, also our crew. But uh, we, we take great care of them. And the fact that we have these PCR laboratories on board will make a big, big difference in people's certainty. They're going to say the vaccination, uh, the vaccine development 
has been very, very positive. That is a game changer. Uh, and you can say at some stage, these laboratories of ours may not be so important, but until one sees clearly how the developments are, we will have both belt and suspenders, and I think people will feel very safe with us. It's good to have you on with us. Uh, thank you for joining us on board in Malta.